Today on Think About It, we're so happy to have Ashley Arnez. She's a midfielder on the Huskies women's soccer team. Ashley joined HBU after being a four-year starter on her soccer team at Layton High School in Layton, Utah. She's all an all-around athlete, having been part of the state championship basketball team as well. She's a medical ma humanities major at HBU, and Ashley has a 4.0 GPA. Wow. Congratulations, Ashley. You, you got the whole package. I mean, my goodness, to have a GPA at 4.0 and to be on the Husky soccer team, state championship basketball team, uh, quite athletic, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Tell me about how you came to HBU. Um, so I played for a club soccer team as well as the high school team. Uh, I was recruited by our assistant coach here, Chris Dodd. He actually found me at a tournament in Idaho. Um, so kind of funny story. <laughs> yeah, how did he find you in Idaho? Where in Idaho? Um, it was, we were playing a tournament up in Boise. Um, he was just doing a recruiting trip and we happened, he happened to see me, um, sent, a note, sent out an email and then I ended up looking in HBU. That was early summer of my sophomore year. Late summer, I ended up having a tournament in Dallas and made the trip down to come see HBU on an unofficial visit. And then from there, yeah, I just kind of decided this was it for me. So how do you get a 4.0 GPA and be an all around athlete and a part of the state championship basketball team, medical humanities major? I mean, how do you do it? Um, I guess I'd say a lot of time management skills for sure. Um, and had a lot of hard work, but yeah. <laughs> that is cool. So t tell me about the Huskies women's soccer team and what position you are and how the team's doing. How's it been? Um, well, so I'm a holding midfielder. Um, that means I play right in front of the center backs, but still in the midfield. I, people call it defensive mid. As of now, I mean, with everything going on, COVID, hence probably why we're maybe doing this uh, Zoom style, our season was postponed, but our spring schedule has been announced. So as of now, we have games and we're going to play in the spring. Oh, wow. So, I mean, that's got to be encouraging uh, to look forward to spring. Tell me about the spring schedule. Have they given it to you yet? Yeah, they announced it, I think, sometime last month. Um, it's just conference teams, so a few – less games than we're used to having in a full season, but I think we're all thankful for the opportunity to be able to play and have some games this year. Absolutely. Was it a bit disappointing of during the pandemic to kind of go through the COVID uh, disappointment period? Yeah, it was hard. So we actually ended up coming back in July and we were training because as of that point, we still believed we had a season. I mean, as with most athletes here on campus. Um, so we were back training for, I mean, we were in preseason, we were doing two days, we were getting ready. And then it was just very, very disappointing to get the news that season had been postponed. But I mean, we're excited for the spring and the opportunities that that's gonna provide for us. That's cool. Uh, Division one uh, women's soccer team is, is not for everybody. I mean, that takes a certain skill set. What's it been like to be on division one? Um, it's been amazing. I've always dreamed of being like college athlete. I feel like everyone really shoots for like division one. This is like best competition. It pr provides the opportunity for people to just get out there and like do what they love at a very high level. Um, I've really enjoyed my time here. And now, who are some of the teams that you'll face in division one um, on, on the Husky soccer team? Yeah, so we're just playing our um, Southland Conference uh, season in this spring. So we won't have face any outside opponents. And what's been your experience at HBU? How has it been? I have really enjoyed it here. I always knew when I was in high school and choosing a college that I wanted to go somewhere that was smaller. I think one of the greatest things here is just like the um, relationship you're able to have with your professors. Um, I always really enjoyed school and I really like that I'm on a like name, like first name basis, my professors, like they know who I am, I know who they are. 
I really like that aspect of HBU and just being able um, just to have that like close knit like relationship with the, like your classmates as well. And, you know, at least in my our major, a medical humanities major is kind of small. I kind of have an idea of I see the same people in my classes, and it's just it's really nice. It's a it's a community, you know. Yeah. So how big is Layton, Utah? Layton it's always interesting because Houston is the biggest city I've ever like been to. So coming here is like very, very different from Layton, but it's not as small as some of like the smaller Texas towns that you guys have out here. I'd say like it's suburbs, comparable to like Sugarland out here. Yeah. And so like, is, is Layton a suburb of Salt Lake City? Yeah. I'd say a lot of people live in Layton and commute to Salt Lake or kind of how people here do like Pearland, Houston, Sugarland, Houston. I was going to say, what what was the transition like from Utah to Houston, Texas for you? Um, it was very just different. I don't know. Growing up in Utah it was amazing. Houston, it's just, it's just different. It's hard to compare big city compared to like small like suburb life. I mean, Salt Lake is a decent sized city, but nothing compared to. I still don't know if I have a grasp for how big Houston is. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I really like out here though. It's been a, it's been a good transition. And what's been the faith experience like for you <clears throat> at Houston Baptist University? How has your faith grown? Um, I think it's just been nice um, to be here. And I think HU is just very accepting and it's um, for everyone. And it's really nice to just be able to experience um, a lot of just different perspectives. Yeah. And like all that and stuff. Yeah, and so what kind of perspectives have you learned in the faith area at HBU? I just feel like, I mean, curriculum-wise, I think I've been in some classes and learned some things that was in HBU I wouldn't have had the opportunity to be able to, like, um, have, like, be part of and, like, get to, like, that knowledge. And it's just been really nice to be able to, like, this whole new, like, perspective Cool. How about your mom and dad? What are they excited about what you're doing and athletically? I mean, you're really excelling and it's, it's very unusual to have such athletic skill and a 4.0 GPA. I mean, that's, that's a great combination. What do your parents think? They're pretty proud of me and they let me know it. They're very, um, they're happy with what I'm doing out here and um, just, I don't know, I'd say proud is the best word to describe it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds good to me. So medical humanities major, what, what's your future plans when you graduate? When will you graduate? Um, so I'll graduate this spring and my plan is eligibility wise, I've redshirted due to injury. So I still have a few, um, a year or two that I can play. So I really, really, if everything goes well, I'll be able to get into a master's program and continue playing and oh that's cool so you could do enter a master's program and continue on the uh, huskies women's soccer team yeah that's one option <laughs> yeah cool yeah. well very good um and just before we close tell me what how what kind of impression has it been with your the faculty i know at hbu i've, I've heard the term family used that it, it doesn't feel like I, one student said, I'm not a number in a class that's huge where no one knows me. How has your experience been with the faculty you've interfaced with at HBU? Um, I've had a very good experience. Um, like I said earlier, I really enjoy like being able to be on like a first name basis. My professor, I can send them an email. And like you said, I'm not a number. They know my name. They know like how I'm doing the class. They're aware of like things going on. Um, it's always fun being like an athlete on a soccer team or an, on the soccer team. Um, like we'll come back from like trips and stuff and fall and off some professors just ask how the game went and like are just like very invested in like HBU and stuff like that. Um, and it's been really nice being in, in upper level classes now. I've had some of the same professors just because the medical humanities degree is still kind of smaller, but I've had like a lot of classes with some of the same professors and it's been really nice like having like a relationship with them and being able to like learn different things from the same professor, which I feel like you don't necessarily get that at some of the bigger schools where you're just being bounced around. Yeah. So medical humanities, what, what career are you going to specifically going to pursue in that with that degree? 
Um, it's a pretty broad degree, so you're able to do a lot of things with it. But I personally am um, planning to get a master's in hospital administration and then go that route with it. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Well, actually, we're really proud of you at HBU. Uh, it's a, a really awesome to see how well-rounded you are and how you've excelled in so many different areas. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today on Think About It. And just know you got a lot of people cheering you on, okay? <laughs>